I can't possibly understand what you're going through. So I just want to extend all this food to you guys as a small, small token of our gratitude. You know, right now, it's easy to get overwhelmed with all the bad that we're seeing and hearing. But if you really look, there are countless stories of hope and selflessness and good people trying to help other people out. Q13's Hannah Kim has an inspirational story that starts with a business owner in White Center. You see passion when someone is doing what they love. Um, I'm the owner of uh, Anju Bar and Eatery. It's a Korean inspired bar food. Sam Joe is working from 8 in the morning until 9 at night. For the most, most part, it's a one man show, this guy right here. It's the only way his restaurant, Anju, in White Center isn't decimated by COVID 19, a virus that's stolen the life we all know. It's just, just taken away like that. And I don't know when it's coming back. But Sam's story is not about a pandemic. It's about friendship. Hey, Sam. Hi, Sam. Hang in there. You totally got this. Recently, Sam was sent a surprising collection of messages from friends from all over the country. Give kimchi pancakes to all of Seattle. We're all so proud of you. And you're just one amazing person. And so it went. Words of hope up, one Sam? after another. Oh, Sierra, you're in my thoughts, my prayers. We love you. But they also followed up with those words with something more tangible. He's the individual that's always doing stuff for other people. Tad Frost from Florida and the other two friends you see in this picture with Sam started raising money. If we were in the position that he was in, he would be the first one to do that for us. In 24 hours, they generated more than $8,000 for Anju, leaving Sam speechless. When you all... <sighs> took the time out of your lives to, um, you know, just do this. It was, uh, uh, He's feeling emotions he's never felt before. I'm incredibly humbled and <laughs> grateful for everything that you guys have done. And true to what Tad said about Sam, instead of using the donations to pay for overhead costs, this restaurant owner is using the money to make nutritious meals for healthcare workers. I can't possibly understand what you're going through. So I just want to extend all this food to you guys as a small, small token of our gratitude. And that gratitude is being delivered to area hospitals. High five, everybody. Now, Sam's story is not just about friendship, it's about giving back. Five, In Seattle, Hannah Kim. Q13 News. I don't know where we would be without people like Sam. At this point, he says he is relying on curbside delivery orders to keep his restaurant alive. And although he is barely getting by, he remains hopeful.